Earlier in the show, we spoke about how losing your job close to retirement affects your investment income strategy. But the health of your health insurance is at risk as well. Trish Desenzi is here with options for holding on to your insurance. Trish is Vice President and Assistant General Counsel for Medical Mutual of Ohio. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So in January, we start with the Obamacare guaranteed insurance. But this year, in the meantime, if we lose our job, we lose our health insurance, too. And that's a problem, right? It is. And, and you can lose your health insurance the same day you lose your job. So is there anything out there to help us? There is. There is. The first thing you should do is talk to your employer about something called COBRA. COBRA is okay. a federal law that allows people to continue health insurance for a period of time and it applies to any employer with more than 20 employees. And uh, for less than 20 employees there's a like a there's something a state law. Cobra? Yeah, the state law is called Mini Cobra okay. and it it covers you for 12 months if you lose your job. All right. So uh, let's talk about COBRA. Uh, does it start automatically if we lose our job? Do we automatically get this benefit? No, you're, you're entitled to it, but your employer has to notify you of it, and then you have to take state steps to elect COBRA. You have to enroll in it and pay the premium for it. Should our former employer be helping us with that? Who helps? Well, you're on your own for the premium, unfortunately. Okay. And, and that's the bad thing about COBRA. It can be very expensive because most people are used to having their employer pay a good portion of the health insurance premium while they're employed. So when you get a COBRA, you're paying your portion plus your employer's portion plus a 2% administrative fee. So it'll be pretty expensive, but at least you can get insurance at least for the next number of months until Obamacare kicks in. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And, you know, what if we, you know, we get laid off, our minds may be on some other things, like how are we going to pay for food? Uh, so let's say we don't sign up immediately for COBRA. Can we sign up late, a month later, two months later? You have about 60 days to decide whether you're going to elect COBRA. But if you wait longer than 60 days, you won't be able to elect it. So you need, do need to make that decision um, without waiting too long. Let's say we find a new job uh, after we're laid off, and that job does offer health insurance. If we have a pre-existing condition under the current law, does that prevent us from going on our new company's health insurance? It doesn't. In 1990, does not? It does not. In 1996, um, the federal government passed HIPAA, and that's the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. And HIPAA allows people to enroll in an employer group health plan without any pre-existing conditions, exclusions, if you have not had a significant break in coverage. So you have to make sure that you don't go without coverage for more than 63 days. And that's even under the old law, under the current law, before right. we get to Obamacare. So you do right. have a right if you go to a new job to get the health insurance if it's offered by your employer. Right, there is there are protections there. All right, um, what if we bought our own insurance? Um, is that ever advisable? Sure, sure. If Now the trick, the first thing you should do is look into what's called special enrollment. So while you're deciding whether to elect COBRA, you should look at your spouse's plan and see if he or she's employed you can enroll in that plan in what's called a special enrollment period. You have only 30 days, though. But both you and your spouse can enroll in that coverage. You don't have to wait till open enrollment. I see. Okay. And uh, what if this special enrollment in the spouse's plan is not available? Well, then you want to look at maybe buying in your own individual policy. But unfortunately, in this, in this period of time, in this day and age, you have to be healthy to get that individual policy. And so... Um, it's usually cheaper than COBRA, but of course you've got that, that risk of being insurable. Gotcha. And that leads us then to January when insurability goes away under the Obamacare Act. Right. This whole situation changes in the next six months. And in 2014, one of the, one of the benefits of the law, particularly for older people, is that you can purchase coverage without any pre-existing condition exclusions, no matter what. And there are restrictions on how carriers can rate based on age. And so for older people, the premiums might actually be more affordable than they are today. Well, it's great to have you and Medical Mutual right in town here to give our audience this great information. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. COBRA, HIPAA, this alphabet soup of options for health insurance actually could spell out help for you and your family. You need health insurance. You can't go without 
To learn more about your options this year, before Obamacare guarantees insurance availability next year, use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Trish, Trish DeCenzi for spelling things out for us today. Learn more about Medical Mutual of Ohio by visiting their website, www.medmutual.com. Next, the latest legal news for you.